So what about naming aniline derivatives? So an aniline, aniline is benzene with an NH2 group, group hanging off of it. Now, keep in mind, aniline does not sit high on the priority list. So you're pretty much gonna limit yourself to things that are aniline, this NH2, with alkyl or halogen substituents on it. So to name these compounds, assuming that you don't want to do it by substitute class naming, you're gonna use it by basically what we consider, um, or yeah, you would basically, if you're trying to name it without naming aniline, the NH2 group is a functional group. The parent chain here is aniline. And to specify anything else, if we've got one group, let's say we put on a methyl here, we can specify it either with a number, so in this case, nitrogen is one, two, three, three methyl, or we could do the ortho meta pair. In this case, this would be meta methyl aniline. In the event that we have more than one substitution, so let's say we have three, we would have to stick to the numbering system: two, three, four, tri methyl aniline. Now, this is a short video because this doesn't come up a lot. Be aware of how to name it. You're going to see this with phenol. There are things where we can use phenol as the parent carbon chain in terms of naming. But when you do that, basically whatever your parent chain is, that functional group that makes that, that parent is going to be the number one carbon. And then if you've only got one substituent on the ring, you can use the orthomata para. If you have more than one, you've got to do this traditional naming system, which hopefully by this point you're already familiar with working with.